Right, can everyone hear me? All good? Perfect, okay. So, warm up. We're going into our boxing punches. So start 12 o'clock at two o'clock. Just bounce you on your feet and then bring out those jabs. Start off nice and slow and then we're gonna build it up. Good, just rotate around as well. Rotate all the way around or change. Change sides if you want. Good. Do this 20 more seconds and then we'll go into demonstrating the first exercise. Get those breathing patterns going in, nice breaths in, breaths out. Good. Okay, we're just gonna do a little bit of hamstring stretching as well, because some of us might be a little bit tight. So we're just gonna have our legs wide apart. Just go down, have your legs as straight as you can. Try to touch your alternating toes. Don't worry if you can't reach all the way down to the bottom. That's fine, just go to your limit. Good. Good, okay, then back up. Okay, so the first exercise, we're gonna be doing squats to back steps. So we're gonna go into our squat position, we're gonna come up to a halfway squat, and then we're just gonna step back on each side, down, up, back down, right leg back, left leg back, squat down and up. Give a couple of those to go, keep your chest up at all times, Squeeze your glutes to push your body up to the top. So get that nice control position. Good. Be hit with the parts. Squat up and then down. Good. Down, back, back, and up. Good. Let's give one more two loads to go. If you're not comfortable, if you're not comfortable with the back steps, just add in those squats. Just basically prisoner squats. Good. Next exercise we're going to be doing, we're going to be focusing on push-ups to shoulder taps to arm raises. So the easy version, on your knees, we're going to be doing a push-up, shoulder tap, push-up to arm raise. One side on each. If you're comfortable with your body weight, we're going to push-up to shoulder tap, push-up to arm raise. Or you wanna, if you want to go for it, you, know, you push-up to arm raise, yeah. or just do push-up to shoulder tap, whatever's comfortable. Try and fit all three in. Go on your knees if you can fit all three in. You find that easier um, and more comfortable. Just give a couple of those a go. Push up, shoulder tap, shoulder tap, push up, arm raise, arm raise. Good. Well done. Okay, next exercise. We're doing our classic knee get ups. Great functional move. So arms behind our ears. We're gonna lower our body weight, keep your body upright at all times. Back up, squat, up, down. Back down, into those knee raises. Those knee get up, squat up, back down, and into those on the floor, good. Hands behind your ears at all times. Squeeze your glutes to push your body up in that squat. Control yourself down, chest up. Good, give a couple of those a go. That's down. Onto the floor, back up, squeeze your glutes, up, good. Okay, good. Good. Okay, so the next exercise we're doing is push-up position, plank arm walks. So we're gonna get to push-up position, and if you're just comfortable with that, just stick in that position. But what we're gonna try and do, keep our core nice and tight, hips level. So we're gonna put our arms out, back, then side to side, back in, out, back, side to side. If you're not comfortable with that, just hold that press up position. And by holding that press up position, you know, feeling your core really activate, holding your body in that position, that's enough of a challenge in itself. But if you're comfortable, add in those forward and back movements, and then side to side, try to keep your body still as you can. Keep a couple more of those to go. Just stick in that position if you want, or bring your arms out. And then side to side. It's a good little core challenge. 
good. Give a couple of couple of those a go. Good. Okay. Yeah, a couple of those. Nice. Right. Next exercise: low walkouts to plank to push up. So all this is, we start the up top. We're gonna go down. We're gonna go into that push up position. Plank, push up, back out. Plank, push up. And the whole purpose of low is staying low at the top here, guys, for the walkout. If you're not comfortable with that, you can just stick to the plank to the push up. Nice, simple. In that plank position, up to that push up. And if you want, add in that low walkout. So give a couple of those a go. Good, try and keep your hips still as you can in those plank to push up positions. Good. Okay. Does anyone have any questions so far? Good, okay. So next, next move. We've already done this one. So hopefully you guys might be able to develop this a little bit. So our reverse lunge to our leg ups. So nice and upright. Go down into that lunge position. We bring the leg up. Down and up. Keeping that chest up at all times. Controlling your body in the lunge and then driving that leg up. And then when I say get to 15 seconds, we change legs and we go the other way. If you're not comfortable with the leg up, just do some nice reverse lunges. If you do normal ones, we can stand that low squat stance to challenge yourself a bit more if you are not comfortable with the leg up. But give a couple of those a go. So that's down, controlling that lunge and driving that leg up. It's good to test your balance, ladies and gents. Good. Okay, so the last exercise of the round, get ups to star jumps. So we're all familiar with the get up. Try and make the get up as explosive as you can. Push up off the floor and then we just add in a star jump off the end. So we get up and then star jump. We go down, back up and then we go two. So we go get up to one star jump, back down to two star jumps, down then to three and so on and so on. So make that movement as explosive as you can. Push up off the floor and then bring those star jumps up. If you want to exaggerate the star jumps, you can bring the star jumps up as a clap and then go down. Okay. Grab yourself some water. We're going to get going in 15 seconds. Does anyone have any questions? Any questions at all? Okay, that's good. We're gonna get we're gonna get going in 10 seconds. Just make sure everyone grabs some water. We're gonna go to our squats, the back steps. Good. We're going in five, four, three, two, one. It's good. In that squat position, squat down, up, down, and step backwards. Staying as low as you can go with those back steps. Squat up. Squeeze your glutes down into that half squat position and then bring your legs back. Trying to stay as low as you can when you bring your legs back. It's good, that's 50 seconds gone. Good, keeping that chest up at all times if we can. Only three more seconds. Good, and rest. Okay, so the next one is our push-ups to our shoulder taps, to our arm raises. Stay on your knees if you're not comfortable with a normal push-up. If you want to challenge yourself, go into that push-up position. Going in five, three, two, one, let's go. So push up, shoulder tap, push up, arm raise. Good. Or if not, just on your knees, push up, shoulder tap, push up, arm raise. Good. Trying to keep your core as tight as you can when you're in that push-up position. Good, guys. Only five seconds to go. Good, and rest. Next one is our knee get-ups. So hands behind your ears, add in that squat to make it more challenging. If not, just stick the knee get-ups. Okay, good, five, four, two, one, good. Down, up, squat up, 
down. Good. Don't forget to change legs. To challenge both your legs on the get up. Keep your arms behind your ears. Chest up. Squeeze glutes up. Good. That's 15 seconds gone. Good. Five seconds to go. And two. Good. So, next one. The plank arm walks. Doing that push up position. Adding those out to sides. Or if not, just stand that plank, that press up position. In two, one, let's go. Keep your core nice and tight. That's the challenge. Trying to keep your core and your body, your hips, as still as you can. If not, just stay in that press up position. Obviously, the quicker you make your hand movements, the more of a challenge it is. Just don't drop from that position. Good, five seconds to go. Good, and rest. The next one is our low walkout. It's that plank to push up. Starting in that low position. We go down, plank, push up. Go get three, two, one, good. So down, it's that plank position, push up and back. If you're not comfortable we're coming to the top, you stick to plank to push up. That's 50 seconds gone. As you come to the top, try and bring your body as upright as possible. Good. Five seconds to go. Good, and rest. So, next one is our reverse lunges. It's the high knees. Reverse lunge. Make that movement as explosive as you can. Just stick to the reverse lunges if you're not you're comfortable with the get-ups. And let's go. When I say 15 seconds, we change legs. Feel your body. Be controlled on the way down. That chest up at all times. Make sure that drive up as explosive as you can. Good, and change legs. So whenever I say five seconds to you ladies and gents, that's the cue for fitting in at least one more rep. No giving up. Good, and rest. So next one is our get ups or star jumps. Just getting up, push you off the floor, and hit those star jumps. We go one star jump, up, two, up, three, so on. And let's go. Explode up. Start jump. Back. Two. Good. You won't be able to stop them. Keep going. Last one of the round. Own that thirsty water. Good. Ten seconds to go. Good, and rest. Okay, that's the first round done. Minutes rest. Grab yourself a drink of water. So now you're more familiar with some of the moves. Next round, up the ante. If you feel like you're comfortable with going with the harder version, stick with that. Make it more challenging, but obviously if not, if you're not comfortable, stick with what you're comfortable with. Still sweaty work. 30 more seconds rest. We're gonna go to our second round. Back into our squat. Two of the legs behind, legs behind us. Do we have any questions? Good, okay, 10 seconds. And in these squats, try to keep your body as low as you can when you put your legs back. Go three. Two, one, good. Squat, in that position, leg back, behind you, down and up. Try to keep your feet hip width apart at all times. Squeeze your glutes to push your body up. Good. That's 15 seconds. Keeping that chest up when you come into that squat and position at all times. Really feel your core, control your body. Good, five seconds. That's one more rep. Good, and rest. 
So next one is our push-ups to our taps, to our arm raises. Go on your knees. If you're not comfortable, break your push-up. If you want to push yourself, give the regular push-up very to go. Let's go again. Three, two, one. Let's go. Tap to either side. Push-up. Arm raise. I've got just in that knee position. Taps. Kneeling down, push up, arm raises, good. The arm raises add a really nice core challenge. Try to keep your body still as you can in that press up position. Good. Keep pushing. Only five seconds, one more rep. Good. And rest. Next one, our knee get ups. So hands behind our ears, onto the floor, squat up. If you're not comfortable with squat. Do the knee get ups. And let's go. Hands behind our ears. Down. Up. Squeeze your glutes. Push your body up to that top position. Keeping that chest up. Feet hip width apart. Good. You should be picking up the ante now. Maybe a bit of a faster rate. 10 seconds to go. Good. Five. That's one more rep. Good, and rest. Next one, the plank arm walkout. Stay in that press up position, core tight, hips level. Add in those front movements, side movements. If you're not comfortable with that, stick in that position. And let's go. So out in front of you, to the side. The quicker you make it, the harder it is. But if not, just stick with that position. Keep your hips as low as you can. Really feel your core, stabilize your body in that position. Good. 10 seconds to go. That's at least a couple of more. Good. Five seconds. Good, and rest. So, next one, our low walkouts. So our planks push up. So low is the plank push up. Three. Two, one, let's go. Plank to push up. If you're not comfortable with the walkouts, just add in that plank to push up. Nice bit of full body work here. Okay, that's 50 seconds gone. And back, good. So as you come to the top, try to keep your body as upright as possible. Five seconds. One more rep at least, minimum. Good, and rest. Next one, our reverse lunge to get ups. Just making that leg up movement as explosive as we can. If not, stick with the reverse lunges. Go in two, one, let's go. Control your body as you come down into that lunge. Chest up, feeling your legs, do the work. Good. So that's 50 seconds of swap legs. Keep going. You guys do really well. Keep pushing. Only five seconds. Good, and rest. So the next one is our get up to our star jumps. Get up, explode off the floor, and in those star jumps. One star jump, then two, so on. Okay, two, one, let's go. Slow, up. Slow, one, two. If you want two, add in those taps at the end. Good. Last exercise of the round, earn that rest. One more rep each at least, minimum. Last one. Good, and rest. Okay, good. Grab your water. One minute rest. And then we go again. Scorch it today. See if that's affecting your energy levels. Just put in the effort what you can. Just go for it nonetheless. It's good that you guys turn up, so amazing work. Really good stuff. Please your mind for the rest of the afternoon. Make sure you feel more productive.
Does anyone have any questions? 30 seconds left. Good. 15 seconds rest. We're back into our squat. The back set. So we're going five, four, three, two, one. Good. And down into those back steps. Trying to stay as low as you can go. Squatting up. Squeeze those glutes. Push your body up. Keep those feet nice and hip width apart. If you're working outside, you'll be feeling the heat on you. But don't let that stop you. Even if you're inside, just keep pushing. Good, 10 seconds to go. Five seconds. That's one more rep. Good, and rest. So now our push-ups, to our shoulder taps, to our arm raises. On your knees, if you're not comfortable with your body weight push-up, but push yourself if you are comfortable. So go again, three, two, one, let's go. Good. Bring those arms up. Or not. Just stick in that kneeling position. Same shoulder taps. And arms up. And then more push ups to the bottom if you want. On the arm raises. Don't stop. Keep going on those kneeling ones. Those arm raises. And that little push up if you can. Good. And rest. Next one. Our knee get ups. So hands behind our ears. Get it off the floor. Add in the squat. If you're comfortable with that. If you found the other rounds too easy with the regress version, pick the pace up a bit if you feel comfortable with it. So let's go. And down. And up. Good. Squeeze your glutes, push your body up. Start to feel a little bit of energy drain now. This is where it starts to become a mental game. Good. Win the battle against your mind. Good. Last rep. Push one more. Good. And rest. Next one. Plank arm walk out. If you're in that push up position, just stay there. If not, add in the front hands to the side. Do five, three, two, one. Good. Keep that core tight as you can when you're at the top. What I mean by that, keep your hips as level as possible. Good. Not challenge. Bring your legs in closer at the back. Good. Ten seconds to go. Keep pushing. Don't drop to the floor. You know you have this. You know you got it. Good. And rest. Next one, the low walk out to our plank position to press up. Just do plank to push up if you're not comfortable with that. You go five, three, two, let's go. Stay up as you can at the top. Come into that plank to push up. If you want to challenge yourself, just do one extra plank to push up when you come down to the bottom. And then come up. Good. 10 seconds. Good. 5 seconds. One more rep. Good. And rest. Next one. Our reverse lunges to get up. Reverse lunge. Drive up with the leg. If you're not comfortable with that, just stick to the reverse lunges. Just going in 3, 2, 1. Let's go. Feeling the heat now, ladies and gents. This is what separates you from your former self. You know you've pushed your limits once, twice. What's you stop you now? Good, and change legs. Keep pushing. And then one more exercise. Two out your rest. Five seconds. Two more reps. Good. And rest. Last one of the round, our get ups, exploding off, and then our star jumps. Go five, four, three, two, one, 
by quick and if you're putting in the effort sure's worth it alright this is a little verse I was just trying real quick we're gonna see if it works come on fill up with some water last round it's a big battle of the mind game you against your mind that's all it is. So the way that it works is usually Break down those mental barriers. That's what exercise does to you. Breaks down all your mental barriers. Makes you believe you can do it and not I can't do it. It's that I can attitude. So we're going in two. One. Let's go. Squat up. Then into those back steps. Down, up. Good. Stay in that half squat position. Just bring the legs back. Squeeze your glutes to push your body out. Keep that chest up at all times. Good. Feel those legs do the work. The lower you go, the harder it is. One more rep each. One more rep. Good, and rest. Next one, push-ups. So shoulder taps, the arm raises. If you find the needle one's a little bit too easy, after when I say 15 seconds, give a couple of normal push ups to go. Go in two, one, let's go. So that push up position, shoulder taps, push up, arm raises, or thought, to the knees, shoulder taps, and arm raises. Good. Change, not exercise, but change from kneeling to normal. 10 seconds to go. Good, and rest. Next one, on knee get ups. So hands behind our ears, add in the squat. If you're not comfortable with that, just do the knee get ups. Going in three, two, one, let's go. This is when you should be going to your reserve tank. Starting to give everything. Squeeze your glutes to push your body up. On behind your waist the whole time. Good, 50 seconds gone. Come on. Dig deep. Dig deep. You'll be thankful to yourself when you dug in deep and push through it. Good, and rest. Next one, the plank arm walkout. So in that normal press up position, just hold, knock, do the forward and side movements. Okay, five, three, Two, one, let's go. The quicker you move your hands, the harder it is. Whatever you do, do not drop to the floor. That's your challenge. Challenge yourself always. Good. 10 seconds to go. Couple more reps. Good, and rest. Next one, our low walk count. So our planks push up. Just do the normal planks push up with no walk outs if you're not comfortable. So three, two, one, let's go. Plank, push up, up. And then go to two planks, to two push ups like that. Good. Ladies and gents, you are nearly there. Think of it when it's all over. You've beaten your mind. Good. Nine seconds to go. One more rep. 
Good. And rest. Next one. Reverse lunge to get up. Only one minute left of exercise. So if you're not giving you any for everything, you're only wasting your time, ladies and gents. So three, two, let's go. I need them to and drive up. Good. Do you want to fill the rep? Squeeze your glutes, push your body up. Drive up. If you're not comfortable with that? Just normal reverse lunges. Good. Change legs. Good. Test your balance a bit as well. Good. Keep driving up. Good. Two more reps at least. Push this out. Good. And rest. One more exercise. Our get ups to our star jumps. Last push. Give it everything you've got. Smash your mind. Conquer it. Let's go. Explode. Jump. Good. Try and be a two star jumps if you can now. Good. Be on three. Let's go. Last jump. Go on. Last 10 seconds. Good. One more rep. Push to the end. Good. And that's done. Short, sharp work. Always a bit wary as well, guys. With the weather being so hot, that's good. Seven exercises, four rounds. The weekend, we're gonna up it a little bit. So that lasted 31 minutes. We're just gonna be going for another four minutes. All that is just short, sharp work. The fitness levels have built up from when you first started. That's great work. Just gonna go into one of our classic stretches now. Just one second. Then, okay. So we're going to our hamstring stretch to shift your weight onto the outside of your feet. Keep your legs as straight as you can. Just drop your body weight down. Stretching out the lateral, the outside parts of our hamstrings. Hold there for 10 seconds. Yeah. Good, and come up. And now, same stretch. The weight is on all your feet. You're gonna have a slight bend in your legs. You're just gonna drop it over. To those who are more flexible, straighten your legs up. But then for those who aren't as flexible, have that slight bend in your legs. Ten more seconds. Good. Okay, we're going to go into a bit of a hip opening stretch as well because we've been doing a lot of glute plate based work with our squats, lunges. So, we lie on the floor, leg out straight. We're going to have one leg bent like so, one leg straight. We're going to bring our bent leg over our body and we're just going to pull it in towards our chest the other outer portion of the other side of our body. Being a bit of a stretch down towards your gluteus medius, but your glutes just uh, not over complicate it. Hold that stretch for 10 more. The more you pull it in towards your chest region, the more you feel that stretch. Good. Good, and change sides. The same, other leg out straight. Bring your leg over you and pull it in towards your other chest. Good. And then our last stretch, my quad stretch. So, lunge position. Obviously don't do this if you're not comfortable with it. You just do standing quad stretch. But this gets some really good hip flex and quad work just by pulling your leg in towards your bum. And if you want to enhance the stretch, just lean your body weight further, slightly forward. 
Keep your back nice and straight. Just hold it there. 10 more seconds. Switch sides. And then that's cool down done. Good, and change sides. Make sure you grab plenty of water off this, ladies and gents. I'll be intrigued to see if anyone has taken that photo themselves just for before and after progress picks when we get to the end of lockdown. Good, and that's done. Does anyone have any questions? Thank you, Jess. Thank you, Janice. Thank you, Tessa. Thank you, Joel. Cheers out. Any questions, guys? Ladies and gents, just throw them my way. Just feeling better. Good, yeah, it was a bit tough because the weather makes you sweaty work. That's good. Thank you, Jess. Cheers out. Whew. Thank you, Kathy. Thanks, Fred. Good work, good turnout. Hopefully, you're feeling yourself so much fitter. Thank you, Mia. If you know anyone else would benefit, just get them involved. Want to make it a bit of a community, you know, making sure we're all in this journey together. Yeah, thank you, Tessa. Appreciate the support and glad you get some benefit out of it as well. It's great, it's great stuff. To uh, Francis underscore staff, I don't know who you are, but get off your ass. <laughs> so that's my dad who uh, is sitting in the garden sunbathing, trying to make it seem like he's doing a lot of exercise. <laughs> Good, okay, I'm gonna sign out now, but thank you all very much for tuning in. Looking forward to seeing you on Saturday, and here's to keep you physically active, but also, you know, keep your mental health in a regulated and more controlled state so love it see you guys on saturday at 10 a.m